an Avid Media Composer 8.6 and higher, Avid has changed the way in which we use Link. Now, in previous videos, you may have seen me right click in a bin and choose something called AMA Link. And then further on down the line, Avid shortened that AMA link to simply link. But we would still right click in a bin, choose link in order to link to our footage. Well, as you can see, I right click in a bin and link, AMA link, none of that is in our context menu. So how do we access link in Media Composer 8.6 and higher? Well, it's pretty easy. We come here to input and source browser. Now, there's a few ways to get to the source browser, which I want to actually show you real quick here. Now, this video is not really about the source browser. I just want to make sure you know how to access it. We can come up here to tools and source browser. That's the same exact thing. We can come up here to file, input and source browser. Same exact thing. But since the way I do it a lot of times in Media Composer for tutorial videos is to right click in a bin. That's what we'll do. We'll just right click in a bin, go to input and source browser. Now, once we're in our source browser, you can see it's laid out in a tree based format, which is very similar to you know, uh, Windows Explorer or the Finder on your Mac. So this should be pretty self-explanatory on how to use this. The two main settings you will want to take note of are right down here next to these radio buttons. You'll see we have link and import, and this is how you choose link or import. Now for import, we can still, uh, you know, go to our file system and let me go to videos here and I could just drag in a video just as we could previously, you know, I can drag it in and it will go ahead and start to import. I'll hit control period to cancel that. Okay, so that's one way we can still import is drag and drop. You can you can still do that. But to link, instead of right clicking and going to link or a mail link as it was called before that, you choose link. Okay, so just take note of these two options down here. And you can also change the settings with your little gear icon. You can do it right from within the source browser. So that is how you link an Avid Media Composer 8.6 and higher. So let's go ahead and see this in action real quick. We'll just dial down into a folder here. So let's go to that videos folder again, right here. And over here are all of uh, the clips I have in here. Now there, there are more features uh, to the source browser. Again, we're not going, going to go into all of them here, but there are things you can do, uh, collapse all directories, add or remove you know, your favorite folders and, and things like that. Okay, but if I want to link to say this clip right here, simply choose it, make sure link is chosen down here and hit link. Right there it is in my bin. So then I can close down the source browser. I'll double click and loads it right up here in the source monitor. Pretty cool, right? Let me go ahead and get rid of this so I can show you a couple other things that you'll need to know. So right click inputs source browser. Here we are right where we uh, left off. We can also, of course, link multiple uh, clips at once. So I'll just shift click that or of course you can draw a marquee or whatever you want. But I'll just shift click all those. Again, link is chosen. If I chose import, guess what it's going to do? It's going to start importing. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. If you know, feel free to feel free to import if you want, but I don't want to import. I want the link. So we'll choose link again, choose all of our files down here in the target bin. We can, uh, you know, choose different bins that we might have open. I only have one bin, but if you have multiple bins, this is a really easy way to throw those files right into the bin you want. So you can choose your bin there. So it's link files chosen, hit link immediately. They show up right over there. Pretty cool, right? Okay. And I'll go ahead and get rid of those and we'll do something else. Go back to the source browser. Another thing we can do is double click to, we have a drop down menu right here, link or import, or the default is load clips into source monitor. So if I were to double click here, it will load that clip into the source monitor, which it's already there. But if I close, it goes away. It goes away because we didn't import it or we didn't link it. Okay, so keep in mind, you're going to have to actually link that to keep it in your project or in your session. And let's go ahead and head right back to the source browser. And this time, let's look at this double click to load again. This time we'll choose link or import. Now, what do you think is gonna happen? It says link or import. How do I know what's gonna happen? Well, we have a little clue down here. What's chosen? Well, right now we have link chosen, so watch this. I'll double click this file instead of clicking this button, so I'll just double click. Immediately loads it into our bin there, the bin that we have chosen. If you had a different bin chosen, it, it'll throw it in that bin. So I can do it with this file, immediately linked and ready to go. Pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and get rid of those again. Okay, head back to the source browser. Now, if I had this on import, again, we have the same setting, link or import. Well, now we have import down here. So if I were to double click, now it's gonna happen. Now it's going to import that file. So it's gonna wrap it in the uh, MXF 
uh, media there for us or whatever our, you know, whatever well, we have chosen here, by the way. All right, so the MXF is what we had chosen. And you can also choose, of course, the hard drive. But if you want to link, that's how you can do it. Use your drop down, choose link or import, make sure link is right here. You can double click or you can leave this on load clips in the source monitor. That way you can kind of preview them uh, whenever you double click them and they will load up there. You can take a look at them real quick. Okay, now we also have other options here. So close source browser after link or import and then clear source monitor upon closing source browser. So if I uncheck that and we'll double click this and then close it. Well, it's still, it's still in my source, but nothing's in my bin. Okay, so I guess I could grab this and throw it down here maybe. Sometimes it, it can get confusing the way Avid changes those names from AMA link then to link and now they just completely removed it and put it into our new source browser. So again, to use Link and Media Composer 8.6 and higher, if you're watching older tutorials and they're saying go to Link, go to AMA Link, this is how you're going to do it. Tools, Source Browser, or File, Input, Source Browser, or right click in your bin, Input, Source Browser, then navigate through the tree, find the folders or, or the hard drives that you want, drill down into those, choose the file, or choose multiple files, make sure Link is chosen here, and hit the link button, and there they are. Of course, you also have the option to use link or import on the double click, and then you can just double click and that will load one at a time. All right, so that is how you are going to use link. Avid Media Composer 8.6 and higher. Just make sure that link is chosen and is really, you know, it's not really that bad. Link it right in there and you're ready to go. Close it down and you can go ahead and start editing with your linked footage, or what I like to do still, uh, and this hasn't changed, I like to transcode my linked footage. So I'll just highlight all of those, right click, and this is exactly the same as, as, it's, as it's always been in my previous tutorials. Right click, consolidate or transcode, transcode, and then choose all your settings that you want, and you can go ahead and transcode that. All right, so that's how you use Link in Avid Media Composer, 8.6 and higher. Just make sure you use the new source browser and choose link and link your footage that way.